Well, hi, everybody. I'm Rob Kiner, and welcome to Kiner's Corner. The Mets winning again today over the Cubs, and we have two of the stars of the ball game. We have uh, Mr. Carter here, who had two home runs in the ball game, and Ed Lynch and uh, Gary, uh, two home runs in the game. You have done better. Well, I've had, I've had one other uh, three home run game uh, uh, back in 1977. That was against the Pirates and Jim Rooker. Uh, but the fact that we won the ball game, that's the most important. It doesn't matter how many home runs you hit or, or what you do, is just as long as you win the ball game. Well, Ed Lutz, the winner in the ball game, and now with a record of 10 and 5. 150 innings pitched so far. We're in almost the middle of August. You're on your way to the most innings pitched, and uh, you had a program this winter. You think that helped? Well, I worked very hard on making myself stronger this winter, and it's really paying off now. I'm not throwing any harder, but I'm able to throw a little longer with the same stuff. So uh, it's really paid off for me, yeah. Well, longer, six complete games. Uh, you only had one coming into this year, so you, you really are throwing longer. Uh, yeah, I guess I am. <laughs> Tell me something, Ed. Uh, you uh, have won six in a row now. Of course, you had that problem with the stomach, and uh, coming back from that, still in that streak, you had six straight wins. and. Uh, you throw another pitch, one more pitch than you used to throw, don't you? Well, not really. I'm just basically, I throw one less. I used to be more of a fastball slider changeup pitcher, and Gary will tell you I threw one changeup today to Larry Bow, and that was all. I've been basically fastball slider the whole year. I'm just able to have more movement on it. I'm a little stronger, so in the late innings, I'm, I'm able to uh, throw the ball as hard as I am in the, in the early innings. Well, weren't you throwing a uh, split finger fastball or a palm ball? No, I've like never that? heard of that before. <laughs> People tell me that, and I just... I haven't seen it, no. Uh, are we to assume that you have a secret pitch here? Or what? Uh, no, not really. <laughs> <laughs> Eddie's greatest oh. success is uh, just the fact that he's uh, got such great control. He's just right on the corners every on the oh, whole day. Oh, he walked one batter today. Outstanding. It was a strike, though. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Ed Lynch and Gary Carter. We'll return in just a moment to take a look at some of the action of the ball game in their part of the ball game in just a moment, right after this message from Mitsubishi Motors. minute out here and Ed Lynch pitched a long ball game although it was fast and Ed uh, you got to be tired. I am a little bit uh, I think their pitchers have to be a little more tired because they spent a lot more time on the mound than I did I only walked one batter I, I couldn't have thrown that many pitches but uh, it was very hot and very humid out there today. Let's take a look at some of the action in the top of the first inning the leadoff batter Bob Dernier right here you get your only strike out of the ball game. Go to the curveball. Well it was a slider uh, Gary called it and I wanted to throw it and I know he's trying to pull the ball and I just was able to put it in a good spot. And he's, he's looking fastball in that situation. I think the count was two and two and, or something like that. I know I had two balls on him. He's looking to pull something on the inner half of the plate, and I was able to throw the ball low in the lane. Now, a key play coming up here. Moreland, the batter, he tops it out to first. When you were running for this ball, did you think of the collision with her? It was uh, almost the same exact situation in Chicago. I, uh, I threw a slider low and away. He popped it down there. I looked for Keith, and uh, he wasn't there this time. I think he decided to get out of the way of the well, freight you had train coming to over. talk about right after that. Here's the final out of the ball game, and Ebner hits it down to Keith Hernandez. Another good play by Keith. Max is always in the right spot. And uh, I kind of had a little slip when I went over there, but uh, I knew that was the ball game right there as soon as Keith caught it. I knew I had plenty of time to get over there, and it was uh, very satisfying to go nine innings. Back to Keith Moreland and uh, that play where you had the collision in Chicago, now the same thing happening. What did Keith say to you when he came off? Uh, he said there was no way he was going to get in the way of me again because <laughs> he knew I'd be over there, and uh, I can think he felt it last time when I hit him for about three days, so I think he just kind of was on the outfield grass when I caught it. That was the interesting part of that play. Well, Ed, I know you got to go in and talk to the reporters. We'll let you go right now and keep uh, Gary here because we're going to have a little bit of action on Gary Carter. Fine victory. Thank you, Ralph. Ten and five for Ed Lynch and uh, on his way to his best year ever in the major leagues coming through when the Mets really needed help in the early part of the year and staying there when they have moved in the first place ahead of the St. Louis Cardinals by one full game. And uh, Gary, you had you really had a great uh, day out here. Let's take a look at some of your action. Here's the bottom of the first. You come up with Dykstra on base. And uh, this pitch, uh, you just muscled this one out. Well, I, I hit the, the pitch a little bit on the end of the bat, and I didn't think it had enough to get out. But uh, most of the guys were saying that uh, they thought it was going to get out of here. And uh, as it did, it just hit below the Newsday sign. And uh, hey, I'll take it. No matter how it comes, I'll take it. <laughs> Well, that's your home run to put the Mets up by a score of two to nothing. The pitcher was Bo Tello, and of course, uh, he had given up two home runs to Darrell Strawberry in Chicago in his first National League appearance, now in his second. You get him for that one, 
And you get him for one more. The Cubs come back to tie it up at 2-2. Now, once again, it's out of the ballpark. This time, a low fastball. Low fastball down and in a little bit, Ralph. And uh, I, I had a really good day in batting practice, and Bill Robinson uh, has really been helping me about trying to, to get a little bit closer, not get so spread out. And uh, the knee injury, uh, amongst all the other things that have happened, it seems like, this year, uh, I'm just trying to find a comfortable position. And today in batting practice, I really felt good swinging the bat, and it sure carried into the today's ball game. And your third time up, a chance to hit three in a ball game, and uh, you got a slider there and hit the ball on the ground. Slider hit it on the end of the bat a little bit, and uh, just he made a good pitch. And one of those things, I would have liked to have had a, a third one. It's only happened one other time in my career, but uh, the most important thing, Ralph, we won the ball game. And uh, uh, one of those things uh, that happens, you, you don't get too often of a, a chance to, to get three home runs in a ball game. So maybe I was a little bit more pumped up to try and get that third one. It didn't come. Well, you get very enthused when you hit home runs. Isn't oh, it? no. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Absolutely, I get enthused. I get enthused about this whole Met Ball Club. There's just been so many great contributions from everybody this whole year, and it's been consistent, it seems like. We had one little flat period early on, and then getting Daryl Strawberry back in the lineup, Ralph, is, just his presence has made a, uh, made a great deal of uh, uh, emphasis on our, our lineup and the way we've been uh, playing, and, and Keith Hernandez has just been outstanding, and then everybody else, uh, the, the top of the lineup, the Lenny Dykstra's, uh, Wally Backman's getting on base and uh, making it easier for us to drive him in. So it's just been a, a continual team effort all the way around, and it's just been outstanding. I've been uh, having a lot of fun, and it's always fun when you're in first place. Well, look at the fun of this. This happened back in July. It was the 25th of July, and this is uh, Gary Carter at the plate. And uh, Gary, you remember this one well. Oh, yeah. I'm sure Keith Hernandez will remember it. Oh, yes. <laughs> That uh, it, it went something like 22 games in almost a month, and I was very, very pumped up on that one. And uh, Mike Scott had struck me out before, and uh, he has a tendency to doctor up the ball a little bit, Ralph. And uh, so when I came in and seeing everybody greet me there, I almost, I almost took. Look at that. <laughs> look at that. Look at that I was pretty fired up, no question. Wow. <laughs> All right. So that's the story. <laughs> Gary Carter comes up with that home run and broke a streak where he had gone 22 games without a home run, and you think Gary Carter is excited about this game of baseball. Paul, today an exciting ball game. Don't show it, don't show it where I come out and I, oh, look at that. All right. <laughs> I had a, the helmet slipped out of my hand. Everybody was all over me because I threw the, threw the helmet and almost hit Bill Robinson, our first base coach. <laughs> He's a batting instructor. That yeah. wouldn't be too good. No. Well, Gary, that's a, that was a great game today and a great win over the uh, Chicago Cubs. The Mets now have sort of almost, I wouldn't say it's for sure, but the Cubs are in deep trouble. They're not buried, but they're, the, 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 the hole has been dug. I think so. We've played very, very good ball against them this year, Ralph. Uh, we've beat them seven times here in our own home ballpark. We've also beat them uh, four times in their ballpark, so they've got to be a little down right now. And a lot of it has to do with the fact that they've had a lot of injuries uh, with Rick Sutcliffe and Steve Trout out of their uh, pitching rotation amongst uh, some the other injuries with Gary Matthews out for a period of time, Bob Denier, and uh, Ron Say has uh, been struggling a little bit this year, and also Bull Durham having some injuries, and Jody Davis a little bit. So they, they're not out of it by any means, but I like to feel that we've got a, a much better chance. The Cardinals are going to be tough down the, the stretch run, and uh, Montreal's been hanging tough as well. So we got our work cut out for us, Ralph, but we can't worry about anybody else. We just got to go out there and just continue to play the kind of baseball we've been playing lately. Just like the game today. Gary, thank you very much. Okay, Ralph, thank you. All right, Appreciate we'll be it. back. Okay. Uh, to take a look at the highlights of the ball game and also take a look at the scores in just a moment right after this message from Texaco. Fifth, make that bottom of the first inning. It's Gary Carter right here batting against the starting pitcher, Othello, and this ball hit right off the top of the wall and back of the home run fence, and Carter has a home run. Dykstra was on base with a walk and a stolen base, so he scores from second. The Mets are leading by a score of two to nothing. In the top of the third, the Cubs come back. On the mound is Ed Lynch, and right there, Sandberg hits one down the left field line. George Foster goes over, gets too close to it. It bounces on by him, and Sandberg comes up with a two base hit. And scoring on the play is Bob Denier as Sandberg goes to third on the air. So it is now a 2-1 ball game. Matthews follows Sandberg, and Matthews hits this line drive single, and it scores Sandberg from third base. It's now tied up at 2-2. But in the bottom of the third, it's Gary Carter once again. 
Carter coming up in a situation in the bottom of the third inning. Wally Backlund was on base. He had singled. And Carter takes it over the left field fence. And the Mets now lead by a score of four, four to two. Backlund scoring from first. In the bottom of the sixth inning, as you look at Gary Carter easing in and the crowd of around 45,000 applauding the play, Mets leading by a score of four to two. Howard Johnson bats. And Howard hits a high chopper over the first baseman's head. Moreland then right field trying to play it in a hurry, trying to have a play on Foster, who was going to come in from second base, and Foster comes in the score when the ball gets by Moreland, and the Mets pick up another run, and on the play, Johnson ends up at third base. Raphael Santana, the next batter, and Raphael knocks in the final run of the ball game as he scores Johnson from third. Raphael with that single to center field. So the New York Mets win it on the highlights of the ball game by a score of 6-2. to two. We'll be back to take a look at the scores in just a moment, right after this message from NatWest USA.